No wonder they want any bacon. Well, you have got half a pig on your plate. There she is, Mademoiselle Rouge, by the looks of it. You don't get this in Orlando. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> and uh, just here is the Empire State Building. travel day. We're almost ready to leave. We've been in the shower as cases are ready. Nick's just uh, tinkering about in his case here. Come and say hello. Moment, I'm just... I've uh, been watching planes take off and land out of the window. Love this hotel view, I must say. Um, uh, there's a two-way dreamliner just down there, I'll show you in a minute. So I've just been taking photos and sending it to my mum and dad because that's the uh, that's what they're going to be flying on. I've been awake since 2.58 a.m. I had a really nice sleep. It's wide awake all night. Nice night's sleep. It's a really nice bed, that. Uh, so, let me show you the view. That's what I've been looking at all morning. Easy jets taking off every five minutes. Jet to Amy. Nope, it's easy jet. Oh. They've been taking off every five minutes. There's another one. Right, and with I've got my suitcase. Yeah. It's a TSA suitcase, which means the lock on it can be opened without it without them breaking it. If they need to. So if they need to. So I've got to figure out how to do it. I've reset the code to my own code. So you sort that out while I go back to looking out of the window. of staying in the Radisson Blue, the Skylink. Yeah, we don't took this way. Straight to Manchester Airport. Oh, it's nice and cool out here. <laughs> Virgin have moved now in Manchester Airport, so they've got all their own sort of checking booths here now instead of uh, where it usually is. But no desk. And we're just waiting to find out where the Virgin desk is, so it's usually kind of those desks what we usually go on Virgin, but now it's all here. So this is all new for us. This is where the Virgin desk is now. It's not very clear, um, but it's here just down from the new Virgin uh, checking places. through so uh, duty free as always we usually uh, skip straight past it because we've got a lounge reservation yeah we're not in upper we'll no tell we, you why we'll, we'll tell you why later so we're going to escape lounge now in the lounge it's quite busy so i've just uh, grabbed some uh, breakfast no wonder they want any bacon well you've got half a pig oh. on your plate lots of protein nick's off to get some more bacon i've had a little uh, few more tater tots and beans uh, it's quite a nice um, lounge this actually it's Especially exactly the same as the 1903 yeah, lounge they're both exactly the same basically. and the next door to each other nick's off for some more bacon so this is the food station i'm just gonna get myself a plate 
and then grab myself some bacon. right next to the window so we can see out. So it's almost as good as our hotel room. Yeah. So how long we got now before we have to board? An Ten hour. 10.55 we're boarding. An hour. An hour? Is it only 9.55? Sit and relax. Get another drink. We might do actually. Enjoy your hour in the lounge. Probably for the final time now because we've got the great seat. Window seat, perfect. Window seat looking out onto the planes. There's a Virgin flight there, don't know where it's going. I think the Orlando flight has already gone, VF 75. There should be two though. There's a Virgin over there, and uh, we've got about an hour, oh, just under an hour before we can start boarding. So yeah, they'll call us down before then, and I bet you we're in the terminal where you have to walk 15 to 20 minutes down the very far end. I was on that one over quite there, easily five minutes. Eat a little bit more, but I don't want to be full for playing. Another drink? No. to see that on the camera but uh, VS75 to uh, Manchester uh, to Orlando has just took off. They'll be arriving in about nine hours. I'm getting a bit bored now waiting. Are you? I'm editing this video. Why are you shouting? Right now. It's got your plugs in. Well, don't shout. Right, I'm just enjoying another Prosecco. Um, third one? Second? Third. I've also got a glass of water. Um, so Nick's going to uh, explain why we're still in premium, which is absolutely fine. I love premium, but we we did consider. We just thought we. I mean, we had a we had a companion voucher to use. The problem was Lee's ticket was already a companion seat anyway, and once it's a companion seat, you can never change it. You can never upgrade it. Uh, you can never like do anything with it. It was fixed. So we were trying to use another companion on top of a companion. So because my ticket was just on miles, I could have upgraded, but and I would have had to leave Lee in premium, which was a possibility and a consideration. But I, that's, I the reason, seat that's the reason. That's the reason why we couldn't we couldn't do it. Um, so there we go. But it's fine because I love uh, Virgin Premium. Let's show you the plane. Obviously, we went Virgin Premium when we went to LA. Um, that was from Heathrow, so pr pretty much similar. But we'll show you around when we get on the plane. Yeah. And um, hopefully there's some good uh, movies on. We'll show you what movies are on at the moment. Yeah. And um, although we have we have upgraded a companion ticket before. I know. For some reason it just didn't work this time. Uh, sometimes it know. does. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, Depends who you get. Yeah. I suppose. Uh, but it's fine. And I'm looking forward to getting on now. We've got. Uh, oh. They announced the gate in ten the, minutes. No, no. They announced the gate in five minutes. I just Ooh. checked. So what did you think to the lounge? Uh, exactly the same as the 1903 lounge. It's literally Perfect. through the wall behind yeah. me. There's yeah. a door that separates it. Everything's the same. The kitchens are the same, the bar, it's the seat in everything. Really busy in here, to be honest. And I don't know what that when you come up to the lounge at Heathrow Airport and you check in at the check-in desk at the lounge, there's a lounge behind the check-in desk. What's that lounge? At Heathrow? No, here. In Manchester. Oh, I've no idea. Because there's a lounge you said back Heathrow. there. I meant like Manchester here. There's a lounge behind the check-in for the uh, desk at the lounge. Do you think it's a waiting area? No, it's not. There's food out and everything. Oh, there's, a, there's another lounge. There's an Aspire lounge. It might be Aspire, but it, there's nobody in there at all, and they've got some really nice seats. So, so. if you if you are looking at the, between um, the Escape Lounge and the and the uh, 1903 lounge, this one was a lot cheaper, and they are literally you, exactly. get, you get the same view, which is just a, a smaller room. They were that bigger, but everything else was the same. It has been very busy, but we've, yeah. we've still got, we've got a, a seat next to the door. Next door's always been busy yeah. when we've been in there, so. Right, let's quite get ready to go. go. Right, our gate's been called. This is the other lounge which I was speaking about. Is it something called? I don't know what this is called, but uh, there's nobody in it at all. Gate number 204, right at the other end again, but thankfully it, it, it came on the screen this time, so we don't have to run like we're missing the flight. 
<laughs> you know what that lounge was called? Let us know in the comments below. I think it's a spider. There's no name on it. Yeah, obviously you don't get any windows, but there's nobody there. So yeah. you get the, the choice of chairs and there were some really relaxing sofas and stuff like that. Right, let's make his way through the terminal. So that lounge that we don't know what the name is, definitely not a spy lounge, because the spy lounge is down here as you're going down towards the gates. There she is, Mademoiselle Rouge by the looks of it. So we're not boarding yet, so we're just going to have a sit down and uh, wait until they uh, call us. seats in premium and just getting himself buckled in. What's that? What do you mean? Where does that go? Like that. Strange. Premium leg room. I've got a, uh, you know, I've got a uh, footrest. footrest. Let me get that down. I do like a footrest. Perfect. Right, we've been given the uh, menu. Let's have a quick look. So after start, uh, after takeoff, we get starter, um, quinoa, however you say that, butternut squash, and crumbled feta cheese salad. Can I be there when you ask for that? <laughs> I don't ask for it. You just get it. You don't have a choice on premium. Um, oh, you do actually. On main, you have hearty chicken casserole, classic shepherd's pie, or Thai green vegetable curry. I'm having shepherd's pie. Uh, I might get the casserole actually, and the dessert is um, chocolate and caramel crunch. And then a bit later on, you get the mile high tea served 90 minutes before landing which is a duo of finger sandwiches, uh, mini patissiers and a warm scone, clotted cream and strawberry jam. Oh, it just reminds me of like, when, you, when we flew the last time we were just eating and eating and eating and we were just saying we don't want it anymore. <laughs> Right, we're on his way. I think I'm definitely going to watch this. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It's won all the awards and I've been uh, really wanting to watch it. I didn't expect it to be on. I thought it was still at the cinema or something, but I don't know. So I think I'm going to watch that. I hope they, uh, what's his first thing? Let's have a look. Uh, you know what's great about this flight? What? Because I'm not driving at the other end. I can drink all the way through it. <laughs> Usually I have a drink at the beginning and then it's obviously like eight hours to get out of your system, but... I can never say this, but it's that quinoa, butternut, squash and crumble. Kino. Kino. Oh, is it Kino? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think it's pronounced Kino. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, butternut, squash and uh, crumbled feta cheese salad. Um, looking forward to uh, food now. I'm definitely going to get the heart and chicken casserole. Uh, Nick's going to go for the um, classic shepherd's pie. No, Aid did describe it as dog meat, so we'll find it's out. It's for Aid. Oh, really? Um, and I think I might have a Bombay Sapphire Gin. Uh, I probably will as well, actually. Oh, actually, I might have a Bacardi Rum, actually. Man, you've got to have that with Coke, and I don't really like oh, no, Coke. Bacardi Rum, Mr. Uh, Bombay Sapphire Gin, I think. Right, our snacks have arrived. So we've got the um, pretzels that you always get on Virgin. I've got a, well, we've both got a uh, Bombay Sapphire. Oh, I asked for a Bombay Sapphire. <laughs> A Bombay Sapphire <laughs> and a Quinault. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you ever get one of these miniatures, 
don't put the whole bottle in like I just have, because it's so strong. Have that, have that, filter glass. I know, it's so strong. Yeah. But, ooh, blimey, that is well strong. A bit of turbulence. Seatbelt lights just come on. Oh, that's okay. Chibi teeth. <laughs> Your teeth look so whitey, like almost whitey blue in this light, like natural sunlight. So I'm watching everything everywhere all at once. It's very good actually. I'm starving. Because there's quite a bit of um, subtitles in it you've got to read. Uh, I don't mind though, as long as it's not the whole film. It's not the whole film, it's just every now and again. It's, it's the, the man out of Indiana Jones 2. Oh, he met with Indiana Jones the other night after 22 yeah, years. Yeah, this film. Data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yes. called Data. Yeah, yeah. Is it Indiana Yes. Oh, well he's in this film as yeah. well. I wonder why I kept seeing it on Facebook this morning. Apparently she's won an Oscar, haven't she? Yeah, yeah, lots of them. Yeah. Lots of them. So it's a bit bumpy in the back of my seatbelt on. It's not right to be fair. I just wish they'd bring me food, I'm starving. I'm not really hungry. Then I can sell. I'm going to have another gin and tonic, maybe a brandy, I don't know yet. And then my food, and then I might watch a film. Typical. I need a wee now. Right, the meal is here, so I've gone for... Oh, chicken casserole. And Nick has gone for shepherd's pie, and it's got melted cheese on top. Shepherd's it pie with stuck. melted cheese. It's stuck to the foil, and it's just all stretched off. It's so it looks, nice. looks that, like oh, it's a, plastic tray a little salad, a bit of red wine. What's that? Chocolate caramel crunch. Yeah. And then bread and butter. Bread and, and butter. Wine. And then these are for our friend Sandra. Oh, the uh, salt and pepper pots. Yeah. Nice lolly time, what is it? Looks like fruit pastel. Looks like fruit pastel, yeah. I thought, oh no, it's, uh, what is it? Pip organic apple fruit lolly. Any good? Frozen. Frozen apple juice. Yep. Right, I'll try mine. Two hours, 35 minutes to go and um, I'm extremely bored now. I might have a nap or something, although um, mile high tea should be coming soon. Oh, so no. this is where we are. <laughs> Two hours, th oops. Let me go back to the sky map. Here we go, then it zooms in on where you are. Just coming to the top end of, is that Canada there, that bit? Oh, I'm talking to Nick, but he's got his headphones on. So JFK. And that's where we are. So, another two and a half hours. Right, afternoon tea is here because we're an hour and a half from um, landing. So we've got, uh, well, I would show you the sandwiches, but Nick's already... <laughs> that's what's left <laughs> I'll show you mine. Um, there we go. We've got cheese and pickle and um, egg mayonnaise. Yeah, maybe a carrot cake. Scone. Oh, uh, yeah, meringue. Scone with rodders. Nick's got a tea, I've got a coffee, and uh, this is where we are at the moment. 909 miles to go. Yep, yeah, well, nine, yeah, 609 miles to get to New York City, and um, about an hour and a half left to go. Right, I'm going to enjoy this afternoon tea. Right, they've uh, packed everything away, they're just going to start the descent now, and we'll be on the ground in about 45 minutes. Set off. Snowing and raining rain. and windy. Oh, it's snowing and all. It's like proper, like it's horizontal it's like rain. rain. Looks exactly the same.
thank God that there's a chute to go through because <laughs> it's blizzards outside. Right, we're through immigration after a very, very long wait. That took over an hour, an hour half, to get through. We think this is the taxi place where we're going. We're just waiting for somebody to confirm and then we'll let you know. So it looks pretty straightforward. You queue here for a yellow taxi, tell them where you're going and then they uh, send you outside to one of the yellow taxis outside. The yellow cabs are flat, it's a flat fare. Should be $75. Yeah, well I think there's a surcharge between four and eight, like a premium time, and plus there's a bit of a tax, so about $75 in Orlando. You don't get this in Orlando. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it's freezing and very windy. <laughs> than the Guardian's ride at Epcot. I don't get travel sick and that was horrendous. I don't even get travel sick. He was an absolute and utter lunatic. Literally, the, suit, the suitcases were flying against the wall and literally I was looking down to sort of like message people and I looked up and I just thought, oh, I'm going to be sick. Never want to get in that cab again. I'll get the SkyTrain next time. He was a lunatic. So there was a couple of, uh, there was a congestion charge which kept totting up. It's, it's Three a or four fixed of them. charge of $75 plus seven dollars for uh, peak, which we knew about. Then there was uh, a congestion charge of 250 or something. And then um, another, oh, a toll, uh, a toll tunnel charge, toll, yes, charge. charge. And then a uh, tip, and it came out to 101. $103. $103, but we are at our hotel, hotel door. door, thank God. And we're staying in the Kixby Hotel. on the 12th floor. Look at that. Not the penthouse. Can't even <laughs> when Carrie Bradshaw pushed yeah. the penthouse. She was like, which floor? In the Kixby Hotel, they have the look up rooftop bar where we'll be able to see the Empire State Building, which is just next door. Oh yeah. Very um, black corridor, yeah, isn't it's it? Like, it's like, um, like, like Hogs in Mansion. <laughs> We've arrived. We've checked in. We're in our room. Um, we're going to show you guys around it before we muck it up. So I'm going to hand over the, uh, the talking to Lee and he will show you around. Right, so we're in the Kixby Hotel. We've never stayed in any um, New York hotels before, but apparently this is quite a big room for a New York hotel. So um, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments below. Let me stand back a bit so you can get kind of like the, yeah. uh, the, depth, the, the depth and breadth of it. Yeah, so a lovely bed, which you can see we've already been on. We've had a five minute lay down and it's very comfortable. Um, so uh, we're going to check out like, the light fittings. Very swanky. Some up there. I've not figured out how to put that on yet. You've got the uh, the lamps. I've got USBs on as well. I'm charging yeah, my phone, which is always good. A um, you get rugs at the side of the bed. Yeah. This is a nice feature. Yeah, definitely. A um, bottle of brut. They must have literally been in this room 30 yeah. seconds before we came in because the ice has already melted and we've been in 20 minutes. Yeah, so if you want to uh, back up a little bit, so we have here. a Is safe. It? I haven't looked in these yet. Some drawers. Any biscuits? Fridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fridge. That's a bit fancy. Um, no biscuits, no, but a nice curing machine. Yeah. With some English breakfast teas. Ooh, and just drink one, actually. And some um, coffees and two bottles of water. Huge plasma screen again. Yeah, we're going to put that on. Don't know whether that's a smart TV and the internet access. He said it was high speed, but it's not. Like six meg up, six meg down. So you can pay for premium access. I have read over here. Um, the basic Wi-Fi is free. The premium is fourteen ninety nine daily. We'll stick with the free one. <laughs> I'll show you over right, here. Right. What's, yeah, what's to the way? So on the left we have the bathroom. Nice big shower. Nice big sink some um, toiletries and a wardrobe room with some uh, robes. We might need that umbrella, an iron and a hairdryer. And the best thing about this um, hotel is the view. Oh my God. 
it's starting to light up. Is it? Yeah. Let me get the camera out. Bloody drop it. <laughs> there is the Empire State Building. Literally, we're laying there and we can see up the tower. Can't wait for that to light up later. And, um, oh, it's snowing. It is snowing. And there's uh, the buildings across, some workers uh, at their desks. Just show you how high up we are. It will make me feel weird. Ooh. So that's how high up we are. And just down there, if you can see it, is Macy's. Can't bring the camera in so that it doesn't make me feel sick anymore. Do you still feeling, keep feeling the need to compel to sing the um we're the in New York. Yeah, do, 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 do. You know, you know what's freaky? What? I actually packed that on the video in the lodge and then sealed it straight after it. And oh. it's not been open since. Well, I don't think it was on this video, but no, but it was on the it was on a vlog. I unpacked it at the lodge, thousands and thousands of miles away, and then sealed the case, and it's not been opened since. And I'm literally just taking my clothes back out from when I put it in on that vlog. There you go. You're almost unpacked. Perfect. Look, they're not even creaked. Right, even though we're absolutely knackered, and it's we've only been here for like half an hour. We've decided we're going to head out. We're going to go to Times Square. Can't we're going to New York and not go to Times Square. Yeah, we're going to find a Los uh, Tacos, which we've seen in a lot of vlogs. There's actually one just off the corner of Times Square. So we're going to walk over there now um, and then check out the roof bar on this hotel and look at the um, Empire State Building one. We're probably when we get back, if we're not too tired. And then when we get back after that, I'm going to get in this bed and I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. Right, we've just come to the rooftop bar of the hotel. It's uh, unfortunately uh, only open July till October, so it's in the uh, summer months. And uh, let me just let Nick in. Like, Hi! <laughs> we were wondering how to get back in. And uh, just here is the Empire State Building. Oh my frigging God. So it's starting to light up. I do think it does uh, different colours at some point, but <laughs> not yet. I can't believe we're here. it's snowing and we're in New York. <laughs> it's just, it's surreal. It feels like, like very much like San Francisco, doesn't it? To us it's so snow. far. Oh, it feels like London and then San Francisco. But yeah. when you see that, it's like Superman. <laughs> it's like Lois Lane is dangling off the top. You can hear all the sirens in the background. And then the helicopter drops and he flies and he flies up in a phone box and then flies up and saves her. Is that the building that he did it on? I'm not sure. <laughs> right, let's get to uh, Times Square. Oh my god, there's a subway. A <laughs> real American subway. We're very excited, there's a subway. <laughs> We're not going on it tonight. Well, I don't even know what film it's from, but it's from millions of different types of films, isn't it? Yeah. So. out of a vent you know like you see on like <laughs> Beauty like and the Beast years ago <laughs> down in back alley there's actually steam coming out of a, out of a street vent it just reminds me of Superman that <laughs> so we're, we're heading down here and uh, I'm sure you can see all the lights flashing down there this is Broadway apparently yeah and this is where Times Square is right we're here in Times Square a very cold Times Square <laughs> <It's very easy. laughs> Uh, so you can see some of the lights around us. So which building did um, Samantha have her, hop have her office? I don't I think know, up there. She was sat up there looking down into Times Square. In front of us. Yeah. Up there, where is it? Just there is the ball. The globe. Where they do the um, New Year's Eve uh, fireworks. Um, so we're just going to have a look around. And uh, it's a lot smaller than what I imagined it would be. Well, and pick up some um, food from somewhere. Lost Tacos is just down this street. I'm just going to do a quick sweep around of all the advertisements and there's Nick. <laughs> so I think at quarter midnight every night all these yeah. screens turn into like a big art show don't they? Yeah. As Not a... that we'll ever see it because we won't last that long. <laughs> Lots yeah. of advertisements. Right, take us to last Tacos, Los Tacos. <laughs> Go on. Have you ever seen the um, 
Times Square live feed on YouTube. We're on it now. <laughs> this is where we're stood right now. I've just messaged the buzzers and said, look on here now and see if you can see us. Yeah, so just see if people can see us back at home. Um, but if you've not seen it, check out the 4K Times Square we're there. live feed on YouTube and you'll see these um, stairs and seats behind us. Can you see us on it? Yeah, I can see us both stood there right now. <laughs> um, but obviously it's a very popular place. Everybody's getting photos of uh, that view, which is what you see on New Year's Eve. And uh, obviously very bright, very uh, hustling and bustling. Oh. Um, I imagine it's a really nice place when it's warm. Absolutely. Freezing, it's nice cold. But it's, it's literally snowing now. I'm just going to put my torch on. Baz is watching me. <laughs> you can actually see the camera there. Yeah, I know, I've seen on the top. That. So, there we go. Right, we're just looking for Los Tacos. Um, I've just seen a, a show that I would definitely see if we had time for a show. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I read the book many years ago and I really enjoyed it, so I would love to see that. Right, we're just getting some salsa in us, pots go with our tacos which we've got. Oh my god, it's so amazing. It's just like street food on steroids. So we've got two steak ones and two chicken tacos. They're quite spicy. I've already had a uh, little mouthful. They're very spicy. Right. I don't know what it is, but that is a bit, it's like so hot. I'm gonna say, these are beautiful. Really, really good. Amazing, in fact. And only what is four ninety five dollars each. Yeah, they're quite small, but there's like branches of these all over New York. Really impressed with this. That was so good that we're queuing up for more. We're going to try some of the crispy tacos this time. I don't and think crispy actually. I think they're, they're like um, soggy nachoy type okay. things. We're going to get some chips and salsa as well as a side. This is what we've gone for this time, so steak. And these are a little bit crispier. So they more, more like a pancake. Yeah, they were making them themselves. Yeah, they were like, yeah, they were like putting it on the gas and then roasting them up like a, like you said, like a pancake. Yeah. And then we've got some um, chips and salsa to go with they it as well. Like them that's cooked a bit more. Let's try the salsa first. You won't like that. Why? Lots of coriander. Oh yeah. Very spicy as well. Okay, spicy. You're not kidding. Oh my god, I'm joking. I do with a little less coriander. Definitely. Right, try your taco. Nice. I like them both. I like the flower one. And I like that one too. Made our way into a bakery. Wow, they look amazing. I don't want to do am croissant. That looks so good. Sticky milk bubbles. Look at these. Like quiches, ham and spinach quiche, mushroom quiche, broccoli cheddar, pepperoni pizza. We're fancying something sweet though. Wow, jumbo twisted donuts. What are you fancying? All of it. <laughs> no, we are style cheesecake, but obviously there's none left. Everybody, everybody has that one. Yeah. Here. Look at these croissants. Oh no, it's a ham and cheese croissant pastry. Ham bread. Right, you fancy this one? Yeah. Heavenly cheesecake, it's nine not, dollars. It's not heavy. Yeah, so it's we'll, more spongy by the looks of it. We'll get that and share that. Right, come on then. Oh, back in the room. Oh, my feet. How's the cheesecake? It's weird because it's it's like sponge, but also like cheesecake at the same time. I'll just have a quarter and save a quarter for tomorrow night, me. Oh, we've got a fridge. Balls. All right, we're going to have this and then we'll update you on our thoughts on our first day. And we got this from. Um, Paris. Paris Baguette. Yes, cafe and bakery. Mm, it's more cake than cheesecake. Mm. 
New York. No, the sound of New York. <laughs> uh, right, so we've had our, I want to call it cheesecake, but it wasn't really cheesecake. It was more mm. sort of cake. It looked like a cheesecake, but it was more like a very light sponge. I thought it, dry. it was very nice. I thought it was very nice. Um, I thought it was quite, quite heavy, actually. Um, so it wasn't worth nine dollars, but it was it was quite nice. No, it wasn't worth nine dollars. Um, so I say that I loved Los Tacos. Yes, me too. It just had such a vibey feel, and the food was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I could have sat in there all night yeah. and kept stuff in myself. Yeah, that, I, I really like that place, and it was very busy. So it's obviously a very popular place, but the queue does go, does go very quickly. That was just off Times Square, that one. But I think there's there are all over the city out there. Loads. Yeah. Yeah. So Los Tacos. Uh, look. Los, Los tacos. tacos. Yes, uh, a favourite of ours already. Um, so, quick thoughts on New York. Uh, first of all, we've only seen two streets. Yeah, I want to just talk about getting from the airport first. We chose to do the yellow taxi, which was very, very easy. We knew that it was going to be $75. It's called flat rate. Yeah. The government decided a couple of years ago that they didn't want um, spiking taxi prices, so they agreed a flat rate. Um, there are a lot of shady people that try and recruit you at the airport to get into their camps and a friend of ours did it and she got charged 230 quid to get into New York. Yes, make sure you go with the yellow taxi. Yeah. Um, if you don't do an Uber, you can or do Uber, you can well. Uber. But Uber tends to be a little bit more expensive. Um, also, saying that, there were a lot of surcharges went on to yeah. ours, so... There were a congestion charge, it kept toll. ticking up while we were in there, a toll charge, and then we knew there were going to be a, a peak hour charge as well, so it cost just over $100, yeah. but it was very, very easy. Um, although, if you've got any kind of um, travel sickness, don't even think about getting no. those taxis. You can get the air train, which then goes to Jamaica Station, and then from there you can get the tube. Yeah. But we didn't fancy doing that because it was our first time in New York, and we didn't want to be dragging suitcases through tube stations yeah. when we weren't familiar with it. Do do that option if you have any uh, kind of car sickness, because yeah. it was horrendous. We may, we may, after we've had some experience doing the tube later on, uh, the, 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 the subway, over the next few days, it may make us make make us make us think again for next time whether we get the air train mm. into yeah. Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first, quick thoughts on uh, our couple of hours in New York. Obviously, we've just freezing seen Times Square. Yes, it's freezing. We're coming March, and yes, it's freezing. Tomorrow's supposed to be a lot better, brighter, and a lot of sunshine tomorrow. So, fingers crossed, and it's supposed to be warmer as well. Um, I enjoyed going around Times Square, I love the vibrancy of it and the life and just the, the hecticness of it. Um, it feels very London. -y. Yeah, for us, obviously, we've, we've seen Leicester Square and stuff like that, so yeah. it kind of feels... So Times Square was vibe. comparable to Piccadilly. Yeah. Some of the streets looked like London. Yeah. I did love the steam coming out of the street, that just <laughs> made, made my day that. Um, but yes, I loved it. and. Um, it, obviously it's cold, it would, look, would be a lot better in, in warmth, um, but we chose to come with a bit of cold month and we knew that. Yeah. It's going to get warmer as we drive further yeah. south anyway. So, so uh, lots more New York vlogs and things to come, so hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And um, don't Ooh. forget the Bazzas, Theme Park Bazza and Maxine are joining us in a couple of days time, so you see yeah. those in the vlogs too. And we said on yesterday's vlog that we'll give you an update regarding the Revolut card. Um, I kept calling it Revolt card, but it's not the Revolut card. Um, we used our Curve card to fund it. Now Virgin has seen that as a cash transaction, so they're charged as a fee. So we're not going to use it in that way to fund one card to fund another. So we will just use it, once our Curve card runs out, we'll just use it as a standard travel card. Because you get like a thousand pound on it each one to spend within a 30 day period. So the two Curve card between us gives us two grand which we can use to collect Virgin points. The rest of it will just have to go on the Revolut card. So we're going to try and get a nice, a nice night's sleep with all this noise. I'm not sure you, sure you can hear it on the uh, that camera. That window's now. actually shut. Yeah, it sounds like the window's open. It's not, it's actually shut. Um, so thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, and we'll see you on the next vlog for more New York. Bye. Bye.